But the breeding of British bulldogs has been banned, apparently, by the Oslo District Court in Norway. Yeah, bulldogs can be prone to health issues if they're sort of bred selectively, something which contravenes Norway's Animal Welfare Act. Yeah, well, let's join now the chairman of Manchester and County's Bulldog Club, Sonia Saxon, who, oh. <laughs> Hello, Sonia, who has a very recognisable bulldog there. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. And who is this with you? This is Martha. And Martha's uh, six and a half months old. Ooh, oh. She's quite big for six and a half months, isn't she? And still growing. But oh. she's oh. almost full grown. <laughs> So, so what do you think of all of this about the fact that Norway are saying that they're almost cancelling mm. the, the British Bulldog? Why would they want to do that? I think it's very difficult to comment on other countries. But in the UK, we have been health testing um, our Bulldogs for uh, a number of years now. And certainly the picture of the red girl in your um, earlier or the earlier screen is actually Martha's sister. So Martha is from Gold Health, health Tested Parents. The grandparents are health tested. And how I understand it in Norway now, that they can't put a health tested bulldog to another bulldog, but they can put a bulldog to a dog that may be unhealthy as long as it's not a bulldog. So it doesn't really make sense. And what we found in the UK is that if you ban a breed, it just drives um, people, unscrupulous people, to almost trade on a black market and use them as a commodity. The most important thing is the Bulldog is the UK's national breed. We need to protect them. And the way we, we protect them is through health testing and the tools now that are available uh, for us to do it. So, so this what, is Dora. What are the health concerns that, that are... That are that are being raised here? I mean, is, is there an issue with, with, with some areas of selected breeding? No, I think in the UK we have a good gene pool. And I think, I can't speak for Norway. Norway's a small country. This is Martha as a puppy. Um, Norway's a small country. So maybe the gene pool is small, but the way to do that is to maybe bring in um, dogs from other countries to, you know, neighbouring Sweden, Denmark, to increase their gene pool. And um, certainly, Martha, uh, Dora has gone over there again to increase the gene well, pool. You're so, up there in Cheshire, aren't you, celebrating the British Bulldog. What is yes. so great? Go on, get, tell us, what is so great about it? I mean, clearly you love them. You love Martha there. And we saw a picture just earlier of her as a baby. I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt yeah. they're cute. So what to you is the appeal of the great British Bulldog? <laughs> I think the great the, the, the bulldog is their loyal, their companions. You know, the standard, so our blueprint says they should look fierce, but of a lovable nature. And they really are the most laid back, lovable dogs. You know, it's very, there's lots of myths. They can't walk, they can't breathe. Yes, they can. Um, but, uh, you know, we're only a small percentage, 20% of people that show um compared to how many bulldogs are registered every year. But our dogs are fit and healthy and well. Um, so help us to protect them. Don't continually knock them. You know, we get a lot of bad media. We'd like to promote the other side of the bulldog. This is the bulldog. They're very calm. They're, they've got very clear eyes. They've got good nostrils. They breathe well. But we need to use the health testing tools available to us to improve and that's for all breeds, not just bulldogs. So yeah, you speak in yeah. defence of the British bulldog. Quite right too. I think it, do you know what I think? If we look after, if if we look after these animals and we make sure they are fit and healthy, then why shouldn't we celebrate them? Yeah. They're beautiful. How Martha's many, beautiful. How many have you got, Sonia? I've got six. <laughs> um, my old, yeah, um, my old. I've got uh, a girl who's nine. I lost um, Martha's uh, great granny just before Christmas at nearly 12. Um, but, you know, they all live in the house. They're no trouble. They go for a walk. They like the television. They don't like the rain. They avoid that might shrink them. Um, you know, they're just a really, really lovely breed. And in the Queen's Jubilee this year, especially, the Bulldogs should come to the front. 
I mean, we're yeah. celebrating our 125th anniversary of this club. There's clubs in the UK that are older. The Bulldog Club Incorporated is the mother Bulldog Club. We've got clubs all over the country. So if people want to get involved in Bulldogs, then go to their local clubs and go to the traditional standard Bulldogs with the correct colours. Because what we're finding now is lots of people are breeding incorrect colours. And to start with, it was thought that these colours didn't affect health. But actually, we're finding they do affect health. So go back to the traditional colours of the Bulldog, the traditional standard, and come and talk to clubs in the UK about the Bulldog. Smashing. Oh. It's lovely to talk to and it's lovely to see Martha. I know she's a prize winner. I hope she wins well for you this weekend. Thanks very much indeed Thank for you. joining us. Thank you very much. Absolutely Don't think they've got fierce beautiful. faces, have they? They've got slightly grumpy faces. Yeah, well, I know, but there's just something about those great big jowls and things, which is just so adorable. You just want to get hold of them and yeah, stroke them. And yes, exactly. Beautiful. She obviously loves her dogs. Beautiful. Oh, and quite right. People who love their pets and make sure they're fit and healthy and all the rest of it. Then That's the main thing, isn't it?